So this question is a simplify question. Again, I know that I can use this strategy because first of all, the question is short. Simplify questions pretend to be between one and three lines long. And secondly, and probably more importantly, there is an equation here that I can simplify. So I'm gonna rewrite what I have here or what I've been provided two times P plus one plus eight times P minus one is equal to five P. And to simplify this, I'm going to distribute the 2 across the parentheses, distribute the 8 across the parentheses, and then we will combine like terms. So I have 2p plus 2 plus 8p minus 8 equals 5p. 2p plus 8p is 10p. Positive 2 minus 8 is negative 6. So 5p. And then I'm going to subtract 10p from both sides here. So I'm left with negative 6 is equal to negative 5p. And of course, I can divide both sides by negative 5, leaving me with positive 6 fifths is equal to p. So the question says, what value of p is the solution of the equation above? Well, we just found that, and typically that's what happens, right? Is if we recognize that the question is a simplified question, then we can just go on and simplify, and usually the answer from that will be the answer the question is looking for, or at least get us very close to having the information um, to answer the question. So our answer here is 6 fifths. So in your, in your, um, on your test, you just bubble in 6, and then the um, divided by bubble, and then 5.